Right guys, we've just finished the ingredient challenge. Now, guys, Oregon, that was a complete success, nah? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, the, the stuff you can come up with, with just bloody potatoes, is incredible. Just quickly going around the circle, put your vote in for who you think won it. Like, who you think was the most memorable, nicest oh, yeah. dish. Scotty? Chuck's on the spot straight away. Andrews. Yep, Andrew? Uh, I'd go Pete. Oh, okay. Tomo? I, it's really, really difficult. Um, yep. I'm going to go Andrew. Yep. Marker, vote for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> How's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Tickets on himself no, over um, here. Vote for me because no one else is going to. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, we're all winners. Yep. <laughs> Who was the winner? Fence sitter. Nah, I'm going to say, Andrews. I'm going to say Andrews as well, yeah. just because that sour cream yeah. topped it off. You? Uh, Andrews as well. Oh, yeah. oh nice. Yeah. I don't, don't know. Don't know. Nah. Everyone okay. gets a participation award. That mean, oh, don't know means yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bangers and mash. Love a that little twist AJ's. on bangers and mash. Yeah, yeah. Who's? AJ's. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I, I like that guy. Actually, <laughs> yours, where is he? I don't know. Yours is like equal to uh, yeah, having to pick. Yeah, spot on. Between yeah. you two. Yeah, toasted bangers and mash. I think that might have been cool. I don't know. Who knows? But guys, I, um, I remember years ago in our videos, we used to sit back on the last night um, and have a quick yarn about what your favorite part of the trip was. And I wanted to ask one question. I've got one main question, which I think will, might help you guys if, you, um, if you're thinking of coming to, to Ningen Station. But I wanted to go around this circle and just ask what everyone's favorite part of the trip was. So, you know, without further ado, Scotty, what was, what was your favorite part, mate? Oh, <clears throat> that is a tough one. It's been a ripper. It, has, it really like, has, hey. To be honest, the the whole group like, yep. just gelled. It, oh, and not wrong. The, we haven't even made a dent in this joint. No, no, there's dead so on. much to see. But I don't know getting out, getting out, and yep. having a campfire is yep. definitely a highlight. Oh, just like to be able to first do trip that of again. fire season, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. Yep. But I reckon probably um, Mount Singleton, doing that, the adventure, getting up, changing the tire, getting up there, Jimmy disappears into the bush and then <laughs> finds that ledge and like, <laughs> every, Marco. Time, every time we stop actually your <laughs> Andrew your description of him is like a three-year-old as yes. soon as we stop he's, he's just gone. out of the car see you later yeah. but then, <laughs> you are was, mate I'm sorry you are that, that he's like a bloody three-year-old <laughs> that ledge was mint though like just oh like, yeah. yeah yeah that um, was epic the that, Mount Singleton that Falcon there attacking oh, everybody's oh, drones yeah. yep that was <laughs> awesome <laughs> we only knew about that spot because of him yeah because he walked down there well, he, he took the time to be a three-year-old yeah. <laughs> yeah. made him walk his too he's, he's only going to come back with a spot or firewood yeah Andrew what was your favourite? Oh, um, sun cream in your eyes? Sun cream in my yep. eyes. Brilliant. <laughs> um, meeting so many yep. fantastic yep. blokes. I, I have just been honoured to be invited along. Uh, the, Cheers, the Andrew. So yeah, first of many, hopefully. Um, probably where, where we've camped tonight and where we camped last night, just being able to be so close to those big rocks with the, uh, yep. the um, uh, water pools. And having a epic sunset oh, tonight, and, both, uh, yeah, and both nights. The light uh, last night as well. Yeah, so Chris is a photographer. Just brilliant. Yeah, yeah exactly. Brilliant. Yeah. I can't wait to get home and have a look at the shots yep. that I've taken. Yeah. And guys, while well, I've got you, check out Andrew's perspective of this trip, or subscribe to his channel just so you can check out some of his stuff. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. Cheers, Andrew. Cheers, Thanks mate. for coming along, Thank man. You. First of many. Tomo, you can hear it a lot. Everything was mm. amazing. So it just far. went so well. For me, is tonight. Yep. Watching, even though I didn't get to be a part of it. <laughs> watching, he doesn't seem bitter at all. No, right? not no, never. <laughs> <laughs> watching everyone actually helping each other out. Yeah. Getting everything yep. sorted. Running around like headless chooks. Yep. The the ideas, the different methods of cooking. Spot on. And then get to eat it all. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty damn special. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was bloody good. And one time we should do that, just have like a big table, lay it all out, yeah. you know, be mm. bloody mint. We yeah. keep saying it, but yeah. we will get to it. Yeah, dead on. And first trip Tomo's been on. Cheers, yeah. mate. Happy to have you along. Bloody Thanks awesome. for the invite. Yeah, no, any time. Mark, mate, go on. Um, best part of the trip was actually making it out on trip. 
after yeah, all the, well, after the all, dramas. All the, the dramas I've had yep. with my big bus. Yep. We might have finally sorted it all out. Yep. Um, touch wood, fingers crossed, it's um, going good. But well, yeah. it is. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, the, just but, appreciate the whole time, eh? Yeah, that's yep. it. But the best part of the trip, probably, I don't know, the diversity of the whole station. Like, there's, there's just so much yet to uncover. There is. Um, yeah. yeah. And just how much it changes too. From like yeah. Yeah. when we came in, yeah. it was like yeah. rocky. Yep. Yeah. Shaley on Mount Sand- Singleton. Yeah. yeah. And then we got sand. Yeah. Red dust. And we got mud. mud. Yeah. 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 Spot and on. Just there. even the bushes yeah. to trees. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. Almost down to like beach sand in some of the places. A different colour. Yeah, yeah, it was. And yeah, then the so lake. Fine. That so lake good. is the lake. Yeah. Just, oh, yeah. there, there is really something for everyone here. Oh, there absolutely. is. Absolutely. Yeah, especially myself. But uh, <laughs> si- simple one for me. Last night <laughs> might have been because I had a couple of jungle juices, but just watching that burnt sunset, mm. it was so nice sitting up on top of the rock. Um, I can't recommend this place enough. I really can't. But um, and also. The gelling of the group, it was, you know, I haven't had a trip like this in a long time, I'll, I'll be straight up, so many more times. This will leave a great memory for me, so, Jimbo. Cool. Well, what do you think, mate? Well, the whole, yeah, the whole trip's been awesome, like everyone said, it's just, yeah, it's been awesome to sit around the fire, yeah, really it has good crew, yep. um, just a lot of fun, and I suppose if I had to pick something, um, it's just the, the pace we've been going at too, just laid back. It just seems to go well, we stop. Um, there's no a lot plan. of tyre checking everyone just stands though. around and <laughs> chats tires. And checking tyres <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. 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 tyre yeah. checking yeah. Yeah. so we still got to do heaps of stuff but it just seemed to just flow yeah. really easy and um, never long enough yeah it's cool dead on mate awesome AJ um, I think um, being able to travel from Perth and be in a completely remote area we haven't seen anyone here yep while we've been here yeah dead on um Except for Don. And oh, Don. Great sunsets, great crew, mm-hmm. um, great camping areas. Weather. Good amount oh, of exploring, yeah. good weather. Yeah, um, not too windy, but just windy enough to push the flies away, yeah. sort of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the and the wildlife, you know, being yeah. able to see yeah. A, yeah. a falcon off the cliff chasing yeah. the drones, the dingo we spotted oh, today. Oh, mate. The We've horses. Seen horses. Um, oh, yeah. Haven't seen a goanna, but we've seen plenty of goanna tracks. Yeah. yeah. There was kangaroo tracks up here but we haven't yep. seen any kangaroos but I don't know if you saw all the lizards running up on the rock today when we walked up there no, saw no. two or three of them up there yeah so pretty specky bit of country yeah yeah, 100% yeah. but just real quick one a real quick around the um, semicircle here what was your favourite campsite night one night two night three night two night two <coughs> night two night two night one three yeah, night three yeah, three yeah, yeah. Yeah, beauty. Okay, guys, so I've got a question for these guys. You'll have, well, Scott, you won't. <laughs> You'll have time to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, Go the other any way. general. Say, okay, weird. let's <laughs> swap it over to <laughs> you. <laughs> what would be your advice for someone who was coming to Ningen Station? Like, what would be advice? Not like where to see all advice. I'll say advice one more time. Um, Advice. <laughs> watch this video that you're going to put up and tell them all about it and all yep. the spots we've been. Yep. And um, definitely look at look at some maps and get yeah. your head around yep. the area because it's such That's a awesome. massive area. It is, isn't it? Yep. Um, and just have an understanding of how the station's laid out and where the areas are that you can see and plan a trip based on that. Um, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. And the, there was one thing I wanted to add to that. It's you, you get the mud map when you come in, but I like how it's just a mud map. Yeah. There's not exact things. There's tracks coming off everywhere. You can get confused. Yeah. But it, it sort of leaves it up to you to think for yourself for a bit, yeah. which I, I think's yeah. mint. I should say that a lot of the tracks, especially to the um, campsites and locations, are very well signposted. Mm, mm. They are a hundred percent. Yeah. So. Jimmy, any advice? Yeah, if it's the same, that's fine. About, don't be afraid to get lost. Oh, so nice. just just yeah. explore it, follow yeah. tracks and see where they go. Ex- well, exactly like we did today. And you'll always find a way back. Mm. Or you might run into somewhere 
<laughs> so beautiful, it's un- unreal. <laughs> My advice would be stop, get out, smell the bloody flat light, stop and smell, you know, stop this and is smell the, the, the smelling, This yeah. is yeah. the, the best tires. smelling campsite I've ever been to. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is, mate. Yeah. 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 No, just suck yeah. it in. I don't know. It's very cliche advice, but the fact that we did get out many a times and have, you know, good laughs and good talks and that, that was some of my favourite moments. Well, yeah, sort of to reiterate about what they're saying, just don't be afraid to move camp spots. Don't stay in the one spot. Definitely, you know. Yes. Move, yep. move every night. There's so much. What, what did Don say? Like half a million acres or something. Yeah, it was. Or something. So, yep. That, and just be respectful of the environment you're in. Yeah. Like, yeah as yeah, I was nice saying man. to the boys, yep. that we've not seen one bit of rubbish. No, since yeah, we've been yeah, out here, good. yeah, hundred percent. And like to me, that just blows my mind. Like, yep. everything is just clean and pristine out here. So just yep. be respectful. And, yeah. yeah, nice, mate. Tomo, don't come here. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> Leave it for us. <laughs> thing is, um, though, you can. Oh, there's another go. thing. You know, you can be by yourself and feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. No matter how many people are here. Yeah, I yeah, think, yeah. The amount of campsites, everywhere you look here has a campsite. Whether yeah, it's for yep. a single car or a big group, you are going to find a place. It doesn't matter how many yeah. people, like you say, are yep. here. Mm-hmm. You're not going to struggle to yeah. find a place. Dead on. Um, with the maps one, probably have a couple of different versions of maps yeah. as well. Yeah, you like have we sort did. Of yeah. struggled between you know, one map, be yep. it HEMA to yep. Google to... What new tracks. New tracks that you've been using. Yep. Showing maps that you're here, these ones don't have maps, and it's good to have a bit of variety to yeah. find these places when you're trying to get to them. Spot and on. just get out here and try it. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. the best advice. Mm-hmm. Do mm-hmm. it. Put some fuel in your car and get out here. Yeah, dead on. Andrew. Right, well, mine was going to be, you know, take your time. Yeah, um, nice. Just just slow down and yep. enjoy it. Uh, there's, the, there's the features that you'll find on the map, but... Yep just take the time to explore some of the country in between those areas because yep. it's amazing country out here. Yeah, we've, yes. we've said it yep. a number of times, it changes so much, but uh, you know, this is the outback. It's, it's red, it's yep. raw, mm. and even in between those those featured spots, yep. if you take the time to just uh, stop the car and go for a bit of an explore, it's amazing what you can what you can find. You can spot on though. How many things did you find? The trees. Oh, there's little creeks and that. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the, all the animals, the tracks, yep. and stuff yep. like that. All these rocks we saw today. Uh, yep. Absolutely beautiful. We should be uh, proud of it. Yeah, Don't and think. thankful. Yeah, 100%. Thankful to Don for leaving yeah. it open for all yeah. you. Scotty? Um, to, I would say probably not to be afraid to come out here yeah. with um, a four drive. That like they don't have to be as equipped as what we've all got. Like there was nothing hard in here. Yep. The ground was fine. Like you didn't need massive lift. You don't need aggressive yep. tires. You don't need stock vehicle. That, a easy. stock vehicle, a stock for a lot. drive. And if you had, as long as you've got what you need to camp and do that, you not a problem. And you you're not that far from Perth. No. No. <clears throat> no. And you can get out and experience it all. Yeah. I'll never drive pa- past this place again. No. No. And, and you had, well, I had reception for the whole time, 95% yeah. of it. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's yeah. a con. That's a downside <laughs> yeah. of this yeah. place. Yeah, you but have reception. But no, except for we <laughs> yeah. As far as safety is concerned, though. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Oh, as far definitely. As is yeah. Telstra. Yeah. It's Telstra. Telstra, yeah. It yeah, yeah. Telstra. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Telstra yeah. only. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Get your act to give a vote for Yeah, exactly. No, don't. Leave it. That's great. It's bloody great. Well, you always turn it off. Well, there's always five moments. There is that, yeah. Yeah. There's one more thing. Now I only want whoever chimes in first. Um, fuel recommendations. Oh yeah. Uh, for something like this, if you're doing the two to three nighter like we did, how much fuel would you recommend? I've only got. Yeah, a do small, a couple. I've only yeah. got a small tank. Yes, a seventy liter. It's on the road day. Sixty five, I think. I Is brought, it really? I brought twenty liters with me spare, thinking mm-hmm. who knows what it's going to be like. I've used. Well, from Boyben to here, and yep. everything we've done for the last, for, well, since Thursday night, yep. I'm at half a tank now, and I reckon I'll whack that 20 litres in, and I'll get all the way home. Okay. So, I, yep. I overestimated for, for my usage, that's why I was, like, thinking, like, Never a bad like idea. I said, it's... Yeah. No, it isn't. No, but, like, don't be afraid to come out here and think that, because, really, you're not that far from fuel, if you need it, 
and as long as you know what your what your kind of range is, you should be fine. Definitely, I, I'm going the other way. I feel like I underestimated mine because um, I don't usually like to have it too much in my mind about how much fuel I'm going to use. But this, you know, I, I was concerned about how far it is to this campsite, and I was yep. thinking to myself, oh, I wish I'd brought 20 extra. So I've got a 90 litre tank, yep. and I wish I had 20 litres more, even though I've got plenty, but I, I'd bring a spare. I'd bring a jerry can, no matter what, to Ningen Station for three nights. Does, yeah. Would you agree with that? It's, 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 I mean, safety backup. Yeah. So Unless you've got a beautiful, like, in, yeah, yeah. You, you're fine, aren't you? Because yeah, you've yeah. got a sub. You've got a sub. I've got a sub, yep. Yep. And a, you've I, got a sub. You've got, got a sub. <laughs> <laughs> everyone check under your chairs. And now you've got a sub. A sub tank for everyone. I, um, I've just gone under, I've still got three quarters of the tank, basically. Just gone under that from when I fueled up in Mandurah. Oh, yeah, that's right. right. So, yeah, that's not bad. I'm but we've been right. going maximum speed on... The 30 to 40 would be 40 k's an hour yeah, max. yeah. Oh, maximum yeah, yeah. 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 look yeah, I, so I have no around. doubt there's terrain and things you could do here where you'd burn a hell of a lot more fuel yeah, so yeah. it'll also come down to what you're expecting from the place and what you want to do yeah. if you're doing what we're doing and just chilling along looking at the sites yeah. you know, you're not going to burn no. to what others may do and yeah. we're only in four wheel drive up Singleton basically yep, yep. yeah that's drive, been though. basically the only yeah I was <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! Nah, spot on. I think that's spot on. But guys, I hope we gave you a little bit of an idea of what to expect um, from Ningen Station. I'm not personally. I'm not done with this area. There's so much to see, including the other side of the highway, yeah. which I think we should really like take a week off and really hit it hard. That'd be great during winter. That'd be me. Oh, yeah. Even that. I, even if you took another week off and still stayed in this area, I, we still want to see it. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, dead on. Because there's there's more tracks. There's another straight to keep yep. going on yeah. from t- instead of turning I mean, right here. How how far from the station have we actually come? <sighs> say forty. Yeah, forty k. Yeah. Would you say that? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Mm. So I would have been surprised if it was that far. Yeah. But mm-hmm. yeah, wouldn't you know that that would certainly be in the actual. The, I'll the be able to put part. it up on screen. I'll I mean, yeah. You know, you get up on these rocks and you look how much is oh, it's, oh, it's, it's yeah. ridiculous. Yep, yeah. it is. It's vast. You haven't got the reach from the drone to actually the no. whole mass no, of no. the place to no. put into perspective. So I mm. think your drone would disown you trying to go that way. Yeah, exactly. probably. <laughs> Find but, a responsible owner. Yeah, exactly. You might get a job with Qantas or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> to sum it up, guys, get your ass out here. Simple as that. Get your ass out here. Enjoy it. It's a, as you said, a full sock. A full sock? All in one sock. All all in one sock. (laughs) Perfectly said. But we're going to sit back, stoke that fire up, Jimmy. Sure, man. No worries. (laughs) Cheers. Fellas, thank you so much. Cheers. And see you guys. Thank you, everyone, for the trip. Nah, thank you, mate. Been a cracker. That died, didn't it? (laughs) Yeah, just then.